uh hey guys welcome to your new channel uh, leaves and lungs uh, so um, so the main purpose to start this uh, video channel is nothing for any uh, not for any money purpose or not for any fame or nothing okay so this is the one thing actually which inspired me to create this channel and teach something what i know to others okay so uh, this is nothing uh, for attempting to teach others maybe sometimes be the best possible way of teaching ourselves so uh, so i am right now 24 actually okay i just finished my mbbs degree in uh, reputed colleges in uh, reputed college in chennai and uh, after passing out that of college uh, i feel that i'm not just uh, i'm not like a uh, fulfilled or uh, i'm not just satisfied with a degree okay so i want to give more to the people actually okay than rather than being a doctor it's good to be a teacher actually because uh, the number of people that you are, that are uh, affected by you will be more when compared to a doctor okay so i'll be pursuing my dream as a doctor but still i want to teach something that i know to others okay so just continue okay okay so i'll give you some tidbits about uh, how to prepare for upsc agriculture optional subject okay so because lot of people out there uh, don't know how to proceed with upsc agriculture so uh, since i've given a attempt last year i would have tell you uh, how this uh, all pattern of agriculture optional works out okay so before going to uh, main the topic proper so i'll just tell you the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the cheap ways of how to tackle this so people who out there uh, who just finished your degree uh, would, uh, would be wondering uh, what to choose okay so if you have any idea of why should you choose agriculture as your optional i give you some basic some certain reasons okay so first and foremost thing is it's very very easy scoring okay when compared to other subjects such as uh, uh, like uh, engineering forte like uh, mechanical engineering uh, etrefly uh, or whatever you choose or even uh, like uh, human related studies like uh, anthropology uh, philosophy everything it needs some types of uh, preparation uh, way before ahead okay and there is lot of analysis stuff and thing everything is going out there okay but for agriculture this is one of the most easiest scoring uh, because it is almost on facts okay so it is actually factual based writing okay and also it is very much unexplored and very much easy to recall as well so the topics are very very definite out there and entirely 90% of the, uh, the topics right here are static okay so and it's also very much handy if you're planning for indian forest service also because almost all the subjects in ifos will have in some agriculture background as well as a botany or zoology background okay so for for those people who can take this subject as your optional so this is very very simple anybody who has a basic idea on botany and plant biology and uh, those who loves uh, biology subject can take this uh, blindfoldedly okay and others who have a very much strong affinity to ecology and environment okay so while preparing for preliminaries you can find your interest uh, whether it's on economics or it's on history geography or it lies on environment so most of the people who cross their biology uh, so, uh, biology uh, degree or uh, you finished in uh, in your schoolings uh, must have a strong affinity to ecology and environment and uh, the next thing is Uh, for the people who simply love plants and the uh, plantation even if you don't have uh, studied anything about you can still ta- take this subject and you can clear it very very easily okay and finally it's always the desire and the interest of the subjects that make you to score well so the desire and the interest of the aspirant always determines everything so uh, i'll just tell you how to do and what to do with the subject uh, the first with, before going uh, before going or before uh, opening your book and reading you just have a glance of all the past five year question papers okay you can download it freely on the upsc uh, main website itself uh, so after going through the past five year question paper you could have breathed some familiarity with the questions you could have realized what types of questions they have been asking uh, how they are being framed and uh, whether it's based on facts or it's based on analytical uh, type of questioning you can find it very much easily and also you can uh, find it whether it's uh, mostly of current affairs topic or a static portion as well okay then after going through the question paper then finally look at the syllabus completely okay so read the syllabus word by word after going through the syllabus you could have known how the syllabus and the question paper coherently works together so uh, after going through the topics you might have found that uh, the topics are very much numerous so uh, even though the topics are numerous they are very much scalable out there and uh, divide each okay i'll tell you how to proceed with this subject okay so before going through the subject just divide each paper into sub topics okay so there'll be plenty of topics okay so club each topic into some uh, 
so suppose you have if you have like uh, 200 mini topics club these mini 200 mini topics into uh, subdivisions like uh, uh, like I, i'll give an example right out there paper two year will be covered into eight lessons or eight topics okay so uh, each topic will have like 20 or 25 mini topics so that makes into like a 200 topics will be covered very much easily okay so uh, we'll be finishing off each topic in a week so each topic will be containing like about 15 to 20 topics and we'll finish the paper uh, we'll finish a single paper in eight weeks at very much ease okay so those who are uh, trying to take agriculture please do follow that kind so uh, i'll give a brief uh, sneak peek into paper two uh, how the paper two is going to be taught out here okay so we have split the topics into eight main lessons or eight mini topics okay uh, you could go through the subject as well okay cell biology and genetics plant breeding physiology seed production and new technologies horticulture and floriculture pest diseases and control national agriculture policies and programs so other topics that are not covered in the seven previous lessons will be covered out in the final and the uh, final uh, chapter and some current important current affairs could also be dealt out here okay so um, thing is uh, these are the uh, study materials that have been prescribed in many other website as well as uh, these are the famous uh, books that are recommended by the uh, students who have uh, who have studied uh, agriculture as their bachelor degree okay so uh, so bd singh uh, by uh, bd singh for plant breeding genetics and pathology so bd singh is a renowned agriculturalist uh, most of his works are based upon indian environment okay so it is very much reliable for those who want to read you can you can buy these books actually um, and physiology there are plen plenty of materials available for physiology and uh, some uh, some easy and uh, trusted one is pandian singha and for horticulture you need to buy kumar okay it's an extremely interesting book for those who uh, love plantation uh, those who love those who want to know how to plant uh, various kinds of fruits and vegetables and this is the book okay it's not only like uh, for a for exam preparation it's also to kindle your interest also and then entomology that is pathology that is not uh, in about uh, diseases and insects uh, it is by vasant raj and david okay it is one of the most recognized book in the field of entomology and finally kurukshetra and indu for your current affairs okay so just do follow this all the things correctly and uh, one more thing you can't master them all okay there's no way that you could read each and every single book okay and you don't need to also because we'll pick out we'll cherry pick the important topics that have been uh, continuously asking in the exams and we will do with the and we'll do with the and we'll do systematically okay one by one so that brings the end of this uh, video so uh, i just want to tell you do share this video okay so even though if you don't like the video just do give a share because maybe somebody who might want it would have a look at that and they might uh, receive some help okay so this is the least possible thing i can do for you people so just keep on supporting me uh, thanks in advance okay bye bye